Breaking news. <laughs> My people shock go cash you. He shock you. Dino Maleye na so the the very guy, our Nollywood actor, the guy won campaign. Oh, Dino has taken campaign to the streets and he gets massive support. You know, Dino Maleye is that person, is that one politician who will call out the administration of President Muhammad Buhari, especially when he's not um, comfortable with what is going on. He will say it as it is. I mean, no questions asked. You know, Dino Maleye is one of the contenders. Yes, one of the persons. 2023 is around the corner and Dino Maleye has thrown his heart into the ring, ready to take the bull by the horn. We have a lot of lineup, although uh, many of them has not publicly, you know, indicated their interest. We know the governor of Kogi State, Yahaya Bello, who is right now cumbersome with a lot of, you know, uh, financial misappropriation, owning from, you know, money he should have paid people in his state, workers, government workers, which he has kept, you know, in, in, a, in a bank so that he can yield uh, interest for him and you know that has not gone down well with a lot of persons who wants to be nigerian's president he has also challenged nigerian youths yes that it is about time they they come out and you know take a turn in the presidency anyway my people the guy don't go streets he don't tell people say well say i want to be your president what will you do when you support me please do not forget to give us a thumbs up like or share subscribe thank you 2023, Dino Malaya takes campaign to streets, gets massive support. There are emerging indications that the 2023 general election will be packed with drama and intrigues. This is as some former senators, politicians who lost their seats in the last election cannot wait to take back their place in 2023. One of such persons happens to be our very own Dino Malaye from Kogi has started getting serious and massive support from persons in his state. Dino Malaye, a former senator who represented the Kogi West Sanitarial District, is not joking about his ambition to return to the Nigeria federal lawmaker. Ahead of the 2023 general election, Dino has started massive campaign which he propagated through the social media posts. Dino on Monday, December the 6th, shared a video of himself in the streets of Kogi where he was greeted with massive audible support audience from the crowd of supporters and loyalists. In a clip, the former senator, which who was seen guarded by security officials was as he walked majestically wearing a graduation gown, saying to the people, a man when he sabi, don't come. So Nigerians are ready, and uh, especially the good people of Kogi State, to bring back Dino Malaye to the scene. But a question I want to ask, beyond Dino Malaye showing us, and I mean, proving to us that he's ready to take the bull by the horn, what else has he got to offer? You know, Nigeria, we are so easily swayed away with a lot of characters and the rest. By the way, we are not saying Dino is not the right person. We are only saying we should be more vigilant. You know, we should be more ready to pick the right candidate rather than dance around the bush. It's about time. This is 2021. The world has moved on. We are not in 1974, 85 or 92 where we can make, you know, mistakes and get away with it. As it stands now, we cannot afford every form of mistake again. It's about time we are making decisive actions that could change the course of, you know, history. We all know very closely that the governor of Kogi State, the very present governor, Yahaya Bello, the guy also wants to be president. So we have two sons of Kogi. That is a split already. Yahaya Bello being the incumbent governor will have a faction that will be loyal to him. Of course, Nigeria, the term of war started in the sense that everybody wants to get the people's support. So what exactly do we do and how do we go on with this? We must choose carefully. It's about time we choose men and women that are truly loyal 
determined and wants to make a source of change. Not just any Tom, Dick and Harry who comes to tell us, I want to be president, share some few bags of rice, dangle some money down the people and that's it. These things work because of the rate of poverty. I mean, since Buhari came in, where is the employment? And yet institutions, both university, polytechnic, higher institutions of learning has been pouring out students every single year. But yet no job. So how do we reconcile this and how do we sort it out? People are desperate. Although they know the truth, although they are conversant with the fact that some people might not be honest and they are going to be getting returns on their investment. However, we still go ahead and support them because they need their money at that point in time. So if we continue in that regard, if we continue in those lines, how do we ever intend to make a difference? How do we ever intend that we're going to get the best? You know, we must come to, it, we must come to terms with the fact that the best person for the job may not have the money. The best candidate for the job may not have money to throw around. And that's where the red primaries come in. Yeah, persons and people are able to, you know, uh, ensure that they give, you know, their best, you know, to ensure that at the end of the day, yeah, the best candidate, the best person, you know, gets the leadership position. We don't want just anybody. We don't want anybody. I mean, too much again and again, we've had the wrong set of people as leaders. And you and I can attest to how things have been. It has massively affected us as a nation, as a people. So much so that people can no longer, you know, lift their head because Buhari came in. One of such persons is the typical example we have today, staring us in the face, coming in and promising heaven and earth. Oh, Nigeria is going to become A, B, C, D, Z. What do we have today? Have you heard of the word? Reverse is the case. People are honestly, genuinely suffering. Okay, so we must get to in terms with what is happening. My people, it is what it is. We must come to terms with the reality of what is on ground. You know, we ha we've gotten too many people. So, I mean, he wants to be president. Does he got what it takes? If he's got what it takes, then... Support is the next thing. Leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Please do not forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Do have a lovely day. From now, from us now, see you later.